mysterious ancient tombs. Creepy or fascinating? You decide. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button to become part of the DTR family and that little bell icon so that you are notified when we post new videos. Number 11, Taj Mahal. The Emperor Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal in 1631, and it served as a monumental mausoleum in Agra, India. The Emperor built the now iconic structure in memory of his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who unfortunately died during childbirth. The marble tomb of the emperor's wife occupies the center of the complex and it's flanked by minarets on four of its corners. The inside of the Taj Mahal is a true sight to behold with precious and semi-precious stones covering the intricately carved marble panel walls. Shah Jahan was also laid next to his wife and both their caskets are decorated with gems as well as calligraphy inscriptions outline the 99 names of God. Number 10, King Tut and the Curse of the Pharaohs. The Valley of the Kings is a not so well-known ancient Egyptian burial grounds for pharaohs. It's also one of the world's famous archeological sites and one of its occupants who you probably have heard about is King Tut. Egyptologist Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in 1922 and opened it. Despite the grave warning, death shall come on swift wings to him who disturbs the peace of the king. He was the first of the expedition to die due to blood poisoning after a mosquito bite. The mysterious deaths associated with the pharaoh's curse continued in the years that followed. However, scientists recently discovered that the tomb contains bacteria, gases, molds, and toxins that were potentially dangerous. 9. Mexico's Mystery Grave Hidden away from the world for 1,700 years in Colima, Mexico, is a remarkable tomb that archaeologists uncovered. They found skulls and bones belonging to at least 12 men piled up in a jumble when undertaking remodeling work at a church in the city center. Diggers also unearthed four ceramic objects, two of which were figurines placed in the burial site. Examiners determined that the grave dated back to the Kamala period around 0 to 500 AD. Several tombs going back that far have suffered from looting over the years, which makes the Mexican grave truly a rare and valuable one. Further studies will give more insight into the Kamala way of life. 8. Newgrange Stone Age Passage Tomb It's considered amongst the most visually impressive grave sites, and that's Rue Grange in Ireland. The burial site lies near the River Boyne, and Stone Age farmers built it more than 5,000 years ago. It takes on a circular shape and is 279 feet in diameter, 45 feet high, and the entire structure covers an acre of land. 63 feet long passageways cut through the interior of the tomb, leading to a chamber containing three alcoves. Also, interestingly, the passageways and chamber line up perfectly in relation to the rising sun during the winter solstice. 97 large stones known as curbstones surround the site and they are also engraved with megalithic art. Two similar mounds lay in the Irish towns of Doth and Noth, and all three of these sites have been declared World Heritage Sites. A big thank you to all you guys who leave us comments. For today's video, we are giving a big shout out to Margaret, Blessed and Favored McGill, who commented on our video about mysterious structures found all around the world. Number 7. Abydos Cemetery Abydos, an ancient Egyptian city, is well known for its memorial temple of Seti. The temple contains a listing of Egypt's pharaohs in a chronological order known as the Abydos King List. 2014 excavations uncovered a tomb hidden in the ancient town cemetery. The tomb itself dated back to 3,300 years back, and archaeologists found a red sarcophagus that was ornately designed within the tomb's walls. The red sarcophagus had been created for a scribe and featured several hieroglyphic inscriptions from the Book of the Dead and depictions of Egyptian gods. There was no mummy found within the sarcophagus, and experts believe that it had been looted twice of its antiquities. However, the skeletal remains of 10 women, 
three men and two children were recovered from the tomb. Number six, the largest tomb in Greece. A huge ancient tomb dating back to around 325 to 300 BC revealed the remains of five people in 2014. Most people speculate that the tomb might have been constructed for Alexander the Great who died in 323 BC. However, experts have disputed the claim saying that the great leader most likely was buried somewhere in Egypt. The bodies found in the tomb belonged to two men aged between 35 and 45, a senior woman, another adult of an undetermined age, and a newborn child. The dig site where the tomb was discovered was just a lower level of the tumulus referred to as the Costa Mound. Experts believe that the main Costa tomb was built for a member of the royal family or a Macedonian noble. Number 5. Talpia Tomb in 1980, a rock-cut tomb was discovered by construction workers laying foundation work for an apartment complex in East Talpiat, which is located three miles south of East Jerusalem. Inside the tomb were six inscribed epigraphs and ten ossuaries. Also, above the tomb entrance was a chevron and circle symbol. Some of the inscribed epigraphs translated to Joshua, son of Joseph, but because the inscription was only partially legible, its interpretation has been widely disputed. Various human remains were also uncovered inside the tomb as well as several carvings. Many have claimed that it could have been the final resting place of Jesus Christ. The belief became even more widespread when the 2007 James Cameron documentary The Lost Tomb of Jesus came out alongside a book called The Jesus Family Book written by Charles Pellegrino and investigative journalist Simcha Jacobovici. Number 4. 42 Tombs Egypt is much like the Mecca of ancient burial sites and newer graves from periods past are discovered regularly. In 2016, archaeologists uncovered an incredible 42 rock-cut tombs alongside a shrine featuring a winged sun disk decoration near the banks of the River Nile. Previously, the dig site where the discovery was made was thought to be just a quarry that produced cut stones for building. The find revealed that the area could have been a major commerce hub and political activity during the ancient past. Diggers also found sheep and got remains suggesting that sacrificial offerings were made to the gods at this site. They also found crocodile remains which raised more questions than answers. It could be that they were swept in the area when the Nile overflowed. 3. Hinshi Huang when he was just 13 years old and around 246 BCE, Boy King Ying Zheng began the construction of his tomb in what is now China's Lingtong District, Xi'an in the Shanghai province. By the time he was 38, King Zheng managed to unite all of China's warring states and soon became King Shi Huang's first emperor. He became even more obsessed with the afterlife as his wealth continued growing. He expanded his tomb to 38 square miles and filling it with all the luxuries he enjoyed in life that he also wanted with him in the afterlife. That included a terracotta army to provide protection to him after his demise. King Zheng also constructed a labyrinth of secret tunnels running beneath his 200 palaces to travel safely and unseen. He also had magicians, alchemists, and scholars working round the clock trying to find a cure for mortality. Ironically, King Chi Huang died after drinking mercury, believing that it would grant him immortality. Slave laborers had worked on his necropolis for three decades up until 208 BCE. He was laid to rest in the tomb in 210 BCE at the age of 49. 2. Unknown Queen In 2015, archaeologists uncovered a pyramid necropolis belonging to a previously unknown Egyptian queen. They believe that she could have been Pharaoh Neferifri's wife, and experts say that her tomb dated back to about 4,500 years ago. She is called Ketawakes, and she shared the name with two other queens whose tombs dated back several years before her. Builders who constructed the tomb etched out the queen's name as well as her status in the inner walls. The inscription's mother of the king and wife of the king were found further supporting that it was indeed the tomb of Ketawakes III. Like most tombs, it had been vastly looted, but site diggers still found nearly two dozen copper and limestone made utensils. There were also small statues and travertine funeral vessels buried with the queen. Several of the pieces were long stolen by grave robbers, and they could have contained clues about the queen's lineage, life, and death. 
Number one, Mongol rule octagon-shaped tombs. Archaeologists working on a site in Yanguan, China, discovered in 2012, found interesting artwork covering the octagon-shaped tomb. Some of the murals on the walls of the tomb dated back to 700 years ago, during the time when the Genghis Khan descendants ruled China. There are seven walls in total, each covered with ancient artwork, and the eight has the entryway. The tomb also featured a pyramid-shaped roof decorated with images of the stars, sun, and moon. A majority of the murals showcase life in China during the Mongol rule, including tea being prepared, a band of musicians, and horses and camels transporting people. One of the murals told what seemed to tell a heinous tale of the past depicting parents perhaps trying to bury their young son alive. However, archaeologists didn't find skeletal remains inside the tomb, while the north wall depicts the tomb's occupants who are a husband and wife. The mural could come from a Chinese folklore about Gua Zhu and his wife who had to bury their child alive so that they could afford to care for Zhu's ailing mother. When they set out to dig the hole, they found a treasure trove of gold coins, which was a reward from heaven for caring for Zhu's ailing mother. Several more of the murals depict stories from ancient China. Thanks for watching. Coming up next, mysterious structures discovered around the world. The largest of these carved stones is Masuda no Iwafun, the rock ship of Masuda. The stone, which is located close to the top of the hill in Asuka, is 11 meters in length, 8 meters wide, and 4.7 meters high. It is believed to weigh 800 tons. The top is completely flat with two 1-meter